Okay, thank you for your very nice um, introduction. Um, this talk will focus on our work on robotic soccer and mostly on the things that we develop for robotic soccer but that can be used in uh, real sports. Um, I will also speak a little bit about other projects that we develop that may be interesting in, in this kind of um, uh, sport analysis and high performance uh, training, and such as a project for um, tracking players in indoor sports and um, performing game analysis, and two other projects concerning uh, intelligent wheelchair that may be used by handicapped users. Um, for sports and other applications, and uh, some work on dancing with the robots and with uh, also real, real users. Um, this will be the outline of the presentation. I'll start, by, I'll start by a brief introduction, then speak a little bit about robotic soccer and um, uh, soccer simulation. Uh, then players detection and tracking. I'll very briefly describe our approach for that. And most of the talk will be related with formalizing sports concepts in order to uh, perform game analysis of um, sports. Uh, then speak a little about related projects and some uh, conclusions. Um, my main uh, field of research is um, uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, intelligence may be defined as the capacity to solve new problems through the use of knowledge. And artificial intelligence is mainly the science that is concerned with building intelligent machines. That is, machines that perform tasks that, if performed by humans, uh, will require this kind of intelligence. So complex tasks that require solving new problems through the use of knowledge. Knowledge that the machine uh, acquired before, knowledge that must be um, uh, used from uh, previous uh, tasks that the machine developed, and so on. So. Um, We'll be concerned also in intelligent robotics, and robotics may be seen as the science and technology for projecting, building, programming, and using robots. We here are mostly concerned with programming robots, that is the intelligent part of the robots, not the mechanical part, not the electrical part, but mostly the intelligence of the robots. Uh, this has increased complexity compared with other domains, uh, and mostly on this increased um, complexity, we are um, concerned with a part of the interaction between robots and the interactions of robots with humans. Mostly uh, human-robot interaction, robot-robot interaction in order to build a kind of multi-robot team, uh, and also try to develop methodology that enables robots to cooperate with humans in human-robot teams, that is, mixed teams of human and robots. Um, the current state of robotics has changed a lot from uh, throughout the years. Uh, robots used to perform very dangerous tasks that could not be directly performed by humans.